Understanding Offshore Banking Units, OBUs A Comprehensive Guide Offshore banking units, OBUs, have become increasingly prevalent since the 1970s as international financial centers have expanded. Providing a bridge between global financial networks and local markets, OBUs offer unique advantages for individuals and organizations seeking flexible banking solutions. This article dives deep into the workings of OBUs, their regulatory framework, and the services they provide, aiming to inform readers about their benefits and potential risks. What are offshore banking units? An offshore banking unit, OBU, is a financial entity established in a jurisdiction outside of its home country, allowing it to handle transactions in foreign currencies, known as euro currency. For instance, a London-based bank could have a branch located in Delhi, functioning as an OBU. Such units accept deposits primarily from foreign banks and other OBUs and make loans in the euro currency market, facilitating international banking transactions. While OBUs enjoy flexibility due to lax local regulations, they are not allowed to accept deposits or offer loans to residents of the host country. Key Advantages of Offshore Banking Units 1. International Transactions Simplified OBUs provide an efficient way for businesses and individuals to manage their finances across borders, facilitating international transactions without the constraints of domestic banking regulations. 2. Tax considerations. Depending on the jurisdiction, individuals might enjoy tax benefits, such as exemptions from capital gains tax, which can lead to better net returns on investments. 3. Confidentiality and privacy. Though not entirely secretive, OBUs have stringent privacy laws. Penalties for breaching confidentiality are often severe, creating a secure banking environment for clients. Despite this, clients should remain compliant with anti-money laundering regulations. 4. Numerous currency options. Many OBUs allow transactions and loans in various currencies, enhancing global trade flexibility and reducing exchange rate risk. How OBUs Operate Engaging with an OBU involves several steps that begin with investor needs assessment. Clients typically choose a jurisdiction based on factors such as Political stability Tax benefits Legal framework Banking regulations Once a favorable jurisdiction is selected, clients can open an account, personal, corporate, investment, or trust, and complete a due diligence process that usually involves providing identification, proof of address, and source of funds documentation. Services offered by OBUs may include Deposit accounts and savings options International wire transfers and foreign currency exchange Investment products such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds Loans and credit cards Wealth management strategies Asset Protection Mechanisms Regulatory Environment for Offshore Banking Units OBUs operate under the oversight of dedicated regulatory authorities in their respective offshore jurisdictions. These regulators ensure OBUs meet requirements related to Capital Adequacy Anti-Money Laundering AML, Policies Know Your Customer KYC, Regulations Additionally, Offshore jurisdictions often engage in international agreements to combat financial crime, sharing information with foreign regulatory bodies and adhering to global standards like the Common Reporting Standard, CRS, and the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, FATCA. Offshore Banking Units versus Traditional Banks While both OBUs and traditional banks provide similar services, the primary distinction rests in their operational frameworks. OBUs benefit from Tax optimization Favorable tax structures in offshore jurisdictions make OBUs attractive for international clients who seek to optimize their tax liabilities. Clientele OBUs cater primarily to non-residents, looking to protect assets or leverage international investment opportunities, unlike traditional banks which mostly serve local clients. Historical context of offshore banking units the concept of OBUs gained momentum with the development of the euro market, prompting various countries to establish their own units. 
This international appeal has seen OBUs flourish across Europe, the Caribbean, Asia, and notably, in the United States with the establishment of international banking facilities, IBFs. The regulatory environment has evolved in response to tax compliance and the fight against money laundering. Key directives from the European Union and initiatives from organizations like the OECD demonstrate increasing scrutiny and collaboration among countries regarding offshore banking activities. Risks and considerations. While OBUs offer distinct advantages, they also entail several risks. Reputational challenges. Due to the perception of secrecy, OBUs can sometimes attract negative attention, leading to increased scrutiny from tax authorities. Legal compliance. Investors must navigate potential legal challenges, ensuring that their offshore banking arrangements comply with regulations in both their home and host countries. Increased regulation. Recent international directives have aimed at transparency, requiring more reporting from offshore entities, potentially limiting the advantages previously enjoyed. To mitigate these risks, thorough due diligence alongside attentive legal and financial advice is essential. Conclusion Offshore banking units provide significant advantages for international clients seeking flexible banking solutions outside their home nations. With benefits ranging from tax optimization to greater currency flexibility, OBUs serve a growing global clientele. However, prospective clients must remain aware of regulatory changes and the complexities of offshore banking, ensuring full compliance with applicable laws. This careful approach allows individuals and businesses to maximize the benefits of OBUs while minimizing potential pitfalls.